Hello, everybody, and thank you so much for watching another episode of Interviews with Entrepreneurs in South Africa. Today, I'm very excited to be speaking to Janine. Janine, will you please tell us a little bit more about your business and how you started it? So I started, my mom started the business 35 years ago, and they've been in retail for probably 45 years before that, my grandmother, my parents, and my mom started the business 35 years ago. After five years, she said, she's had enough. I was 21, just got married, and my husband said, why don't you give it a bash? So when you're young and stupid, you take it over. And that's how it started. Um, we changed brands. We changed the way she had done things. And we went to import, um, went to swimwear, and sort of expanded the shop. Yeah. So I grew up at 12 years old in my grandmother's store. Okay. So did she have a and store uh, and was she manufacturing? No. Whole, I mean, just retail. Okay. And my parents both had stores. So I grew up in a shop since I was 12. Wow. So, Saturday mornings, holidays. So you come from a family of entrepreneurs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. My dad is 77. He started a new business when he was 70. Okay. So at 12 years old, yeah, I was working for five grand a morning. Um, my job was to wrap boxes. Okay. To practice my wrapping, which is still useless today. Okay. But I did then learn what much about lingerie, swimwear, all sorts of products. Okay, so what does your product offering look like now? Imported lingerie. Okay. Plus sizes, all sizes. Swimwear became a huge market as well. It okay. developed from quite a small stock to a huge stock. Okay. And we've been here for now, or well, I've had it for 30 years. Okay. COVID obviously has been a bit of a strange place at the moment mm. because swimwear is not really um, a necessity at the moment so we've gone more into underwear at the moment again okay and sort of gone back to where we were 30 years ago as a lingerie store okay. but still keeping a lot of swimwear so so you have a retail space where is your retail store in Branson shopping center okay same store same a lot of the same staff Nothing has changed, yeah. Wow. So my clients that were in their 40s when, they, when we started are now sort of in their 70s. They, they, their children come, their grandchildren come. That's wonderful. We've got quite a big client base. That's amazing. So we've been I, in Bryanston in the same store for 35 years. Wow. Wow. There aren't many retail stores that survive that long in South Africa in the same space. What do you, what do you put down to your success? Or is it just, just pig-headedness to not give up? I'm not giving up at all, ever, which is one thing. But I think also, um, I was taught by my dad mainly that service was the main. No service, no, no business. Mm. Mm. So we, I was doing deliveries night, weekends, public holidays, I still do them. Um, today we actually do more um, courier, but I do text, you know, I do deliver still 35 years later. Wow. And have you, have you taken your business online at all during COVID? So we actually have got an online store at the moment. It is live. Um, we've still got to add a lot of products and online. So I didn't realize it took a lot of energy and a lot of work and we are live. So we're thinking that is the way to go as well. Okay. So whatever's online is in the store as well. I do believe that if you do bras, it is better to do a personal fitting in the store. Okay. You know, I think online sense. can be a bit confusing. So yes. we keep saying, please contact us if you're not sure of your size. Most women are wearing the wrong size bras. So, so if, I, if, if I had to try and find the right size bra for myself, how does a woman do that? So on these size guides, they say choose a take, take a tape measure and measure under, measure over, take a difference. I say if you need a tape measure, you shouldn't be in business of, of lingerie. Okay. So when someone walks in, you should actually also see more or less their size. 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, I suppose. Never use a tape measure. I suppose after all these years, you take one look at a lady and you know what she needs. You need to ask them, do they want padded? Do they want to lift? Do they want a half cup? Do they want a full cup? Do they want, um, there's so many different things to ask, you know, to ask them. But generally you should be able to see with your eye what size they are as soon as they walk in. Okay. okay. Also another thing, you can measure a bra and each bra is a different size because each brand is a different fit. Yes. Yes. So you might be a 36 B in, in one bra from America, but you may be a 36 C in another brand. Yes. Yes. Uh, so it's quite, it, it seems complicated, but it's not. Okay. Okay. Now I heard you mention that you've got staff who've been with you for a very, very long time. A lot of entrepreneurs that I speak to say that they have challenges finding the right people and keeping the right people. So what is your secret? I think our staff are well trained and they try their best. They look after the shop as if it's their own. Um, I think they go above and beyond for our clients. You know, with online, with deliveries, with helping, with. Um, I think, yeah, so they've been with me many, many years. Okay. okay. 21, 18, 12, wow. many years. That's amazing. That's amazing. It must yeah. be a nice place to work if they're sticking around. It is. We sort of have this area where we meet for coffee and clients come and just have a coffee with us. Or, you know, the husbands come in with the wives, give them a cappuccino, keep them quiet. And yes. um, just you know, give But The main thing is good service. Okay. It sounds like you create a whole experience for them when your customers come into the store. We do. And also our staff do not tell people things are beautiful when they do not. Okay. So I say rather lose a sale and that person will come back. Yes. Then sell something that you know doesn't look good. Yes. We want people to recommend other people. And that's actually our best form of advertising. Okay. Okay. Word of mouth. So you can do Facebook, you can do Instagram, you can do all these things. But if a person comes in, a lady comes into the store, we have to be honest. And that's what I always believe. Okay. Okay. Now, I, I've heard you say that you sell imported brands. Do you stock any local brands? And if not, why not? We don't. So we did, my mom had started the business on Triumph and Playtex, which are local. And we just found that Edgar's had them, started for dinner, so they had them. And when I took over, I decided to try and do a bit of import as well. And people just preferred the fit and the colors and the matching panties and so that actually grew into a huge range okay okay so we actually don't do any local brand not at all okay okay so the imported products there's more variety better fit uh, that's and better quality so if we do a brand of french bra for example they will do a full cup a half cup a padded a g-string a, a thong a shorty a full panty so the, the range is huge okay. in each style. Okay, okay. And I heard So when you... we buy a tight six style, a six size, it's about, it could be 30, 40 pieces per range. Okay, okay. Now I heard you mention also that you provide underwear for plus size ladies? We do. We do. We go up to a 46 H. Okay. Um, in swim, we go up to something called a 24W. An interesting brand is called Miracle Suits. I don't know if you've heard of it. No, I haven't. So Miracle Suit um, is a, it's a hold you in cozy, but in a beautiful design. Oh, and their logo is, or their slogan is, look 10 pounds lighter in 10 seconds. Okay. So we do that okay. in a size 8 up to a size 24W. Okay. Okay. But it's huge stock ranges, yeah, and sizes. I'm sure that must be lovely for plus size ladies to know that there is a, a source to go to for beautiful lingerie because I'm pretty certain they must struggle to find that kind of thing in the rest they of the country. Do. And in swimwear, you know, they're uncomfortable maybe about their bodies. Funny enough, in Miracle Suit, we sell more smalls than the plus sizes. 
okay. which I find interesting that tiny ladies still want that hold. Yes. Yes. But we do, we also do smaller cup sizes in bras. Okay. A lot of uh, shops don't keep A cups. Yes. They start B, C, D. So we try and keep A cups in every single um, swimming costume and bra that we sell. Okay, so really, you're catering to the lady who can't find, who's not an average, and who can't find that average thing in an average size in an average store. So we've got the average, but then we've also got the unusual sizes that a lot of stores don't keep. Yes. And struggle yes. to find those sizes, yeah. Yes, that's an amazing service to offer because I often speak to ladies who who say that they're just because of a weird shape or something and not necessarily weird because they're just not a standard fit. They can't find anything that they're comfortable in. So what does an average work day look like for you? So I have staff morning and afternoon. Um, in the last few years, I've been doing social media in the, in the mornings. And then the girls will be helping the customers. I try and come in in the afternoon. Um, busy with Facebook, Instagram. We find media, social media at the moment is the only way to go. You can't just leave that all alone. Mm. And then it's orders and placing orders and customer orders and sending out stock. There's quite a lot to do. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So um, in the beginning, when I first got this, I had two little kids. Um, I was here most of the day. So I missed out quite a bit of the childhood. Okay. But as they got older, you know, I try now, strange enough when they're older, to spend a little bit more time at home, doing work at home. Okay. How old are your kids now? 25 and 27. Wow. So they get more of yeah. you now that they're almost grown. Well, that they are grown. They do. Okay. They do. And, and are then they... my son taught me about... Mm. No, you, you were saying your son taught you about? He taught me about Facebook. Okay. Bribe me into showing... <laughs> yeah, I had to bribe him into showing me how to do it. Which, okay. yeah, I do it myself. Not always well, but he did teach me how to do that, yeah. And we found that's brought a lot of customers into the store. Yes. And as I said, now with the online, it'll be interesting to see if that actually goes anyway. Yes. And which online platforms are you using? You mentioned Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. And then we also advertise to all the groups around our area every okay. single day. Okay. Okay. And which is working so we, better? We share to all the groups. Which is working better for you, Facebook or Instagram? So my son said to me, Facebook's to come for older people. Instagram is the way to go. Yes. And I am noticing Instagram is actually working very well. Okay. Okay. Do Maybe have... better than Facebook. Okay. Okay. Do you have very big followings on those platforms? Or are they just uh, have... niche customers who are very, very loyal? Loyalty. I mean, our customers we've known for so long. We know their children, we know their grandchildren. Um, yeah. Um, I think so. For, we've got 47,000 followers on Facebook. Wow. I think it's quite a lot. That's amazing. Um, we've got about two or 3,000 on Instagram. Okay. But funny enough, I'm finding more interaction with Instagram. Okay. Than with Facebook at the moment. Okay, that's interesting. And are you yeah. running Facebook pages or groups? So we do an advert on a page. Okay. And then every day we share to a different group in our area. Okay. Okay. That's so a great So about five different groups. And that is actually for free. Yes. And then there are, there are two certain sites that you pay 100 rand a month. You can advertise every single day. Okay. So obviously it's worth doing that. Yes. Yes. That sounds like a great deal. And, and then um, competitions bring a lot of people to your site. Okay. Do you run regular competitions? Huge, huge amount. Okay. Yeah. And that brings enormous, like 100,000 people viewing it and 530 shares per post. There's a lot of interaction there. Yes. 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 So we do find that is a very good way of getting new people to the site. Yes. 
that's a great insight for anybody who's watching. Competitions now, work. <laughs> now, um, retail in South Africa is, is not an easy game to go into. If you were speaking to an entrepreneur now who was thinking of opening a retail store at the moment in South Africa, what would your advice be to them? Wait. <laughs> Just wait until we see what happens with the COVID. Okay. Do you think do you think retail um, has changed? Do you think retail so I think has online, changed? <laughs> yeah, I think online has become a big, big part of business at the moment. Personally, I don't like online. I want to touch and feel. But I know a lot of people they're worried to come out, they're nervous at the moment. So a friend of mine said to her that she wanted to open a store somewhere and I said to her, open a pop-up store. Mm. If you're going to do it now, a pop-up is the way to go. Will mm. you pay a basic rent, try that for a few, few months, see how it goes. Would I get involved in a lease right now? Well, I have to sign my new one, but I would say no. Do pop-up and test mm. it out. Mm. Mm. Just until we know what's going to happen. Do you think we're going to see a lot of empty shops uh, after COVID has wound up? I'm seeing them at the moment mm -hmm. in every center I go to. Okay. So people that had stores before, they actually have not, not opened up again. Do you think that's maybe going to bring rentals down? So I think it will. I think it will. But as I said, my advice would do a pop-up mm. for a few months and test it out. Mm. Mm. I would not do a full retail shop and stock it out with a million rand of stock right now. Okay. But I do believe once this is, is it ever going to be over? We don't know. Mm. But when the norm comes back, I think, I think it is a worthwhile thing to have. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I do believe in retail. Do you? Yes, I do. What do you love most about it? Just the whole buying experience and the getting your stock in and the excitement and phoning your clients. That's another thing. Um, we believe in actually phoning clients personally. I don't love sending out WhatsApp and emails. We actually like to phone our clients and say, this has come in. Um, I'll message her clients and say, send her a couple of pictures, deliver it to their house that uh, then fetch it. Nine times out of 10, they actually do buy quite a lot. Mm. So again, that personal service. Yes, the level of service no you do. service <laughs> yeah. you can't survive. Yeah, yeah. The level of service you're describing is not the kind of thing you would get if you walk into a Woolworths or an Edgar's or anything like that these days. The problem there as well, and I'm not running down those stores, they've got a place, is you go into a change room and you're allowed to take four items. You don't know your size, you got to get dressed, run out again, come back. Whereas here, yeah, we will bring you a few different options, work on what, do you like a half cup, do you like a padded, do you want a full cup, and then bring different options. And there are many, many, many brands and varieties here. Okay, and then you also spare the customer that retail. you spare the customer having to rifle through the shelves and look for things also. You bring them what you think will, will work for them. You cannot let them get dressed, come out, go back. It's we so we will actually bring them a lot of customers don't want us in the change room, which mm. is a problem. Mm. You know, because you do kind of need to see what what is it doing. Mm. But we have managed, we, over time, we managed to sort of say, can we just see the bra even under a, a top, you know, just mm. to see the shape. Mm. Mm. And then they, they grow to get used to you, and then they actually do come back to certain staff members, they'll come back to particular ones. Okay. So, you know, so, often they'll look at me and say, can I please have an experienced bra fit? And I, I, then I'll say, yeah, speak to one of the other ladies. What do you know how it is? Yes. Yes. So, so um, it's a very, very personal service and a very bespoke kind of service that you give to customers. 
That's awesome. We want it to be an experience from when you walk in, the cappuccino, make you feel welcome, package nicely. Um, you know, say, if, it's, if you're not happy with it, bring it back. A lot of shops don't return. We do if the tickets are still on. Mm. And I say, wear it for... So a customer will say, I'll take five bras. And I say, no. So rather take one, try it out. Mm. If you're happy, we've got lots to come back. Mm. Mm. You know, if they wear it and they're not comfortable, it happens. Mm. And then we say, bring it back. We don't want people to be unhappy with what they bought. Yes. Yes. You're making me want to get over there and come and enjoy the experience myself. I've <laughs> never been treated that way in a store. <laughs> <laughs> we have a back table where everyone congregates and it's coffee and cappuccinos. And, you know, we want the shop to be not a cold, hard store. How do you we get them to, to go home? Warm. So my, I have a lady with me. I won't give away her age, but she's not a youngster. Okay. And it was her birthday on Saturday. You cannot believe how many clients bought her gifts and flowers and notes and plants and cakes. So, yeah, people get used to a particular person and that's what we want. We don't want to change of staff every hour, every month, every week. Yes. It sounds like you're in the business of building trust. I think so. Also, we keep an order book. We will we'll say to a client, if we get something in that size, we know they like, we do find them. So again, if it's, it's, we work differently from sending a group bulk SMS. We will actually phone a client. How are you? What's happening? This is coming. Send you pictures. And if you don't have service, as I keep saying, you will never survive. Not under these um, circumstances. No. Yes, yes. Thank you for these really, really insightful tips and things. I think for anybody out there watching, there's so much learning and wisdom uh, in what you're saying. And uh, did you think when you took over the business when you were 21 that you'd still be at it 30 years later? You know, I say I took the business over on a wing and a prayer because I knew about fitting, I knew about retail, I didn't know about leases, I didn't know about contracts, I didn't know about anything. And I always say, when you're young, you kind of have more, sort of, uh, what have I got to lose? Let me try. Hmm. And yes, yeah, we are still. I mean, it was difficult during the two months of being closed, hmm. because we could not trade, we were not allowed to. And it has taken a bit, but we are getting back to where we were. It's going to take another while, but I think we'll be around maybe another 20 years. Wow. And wow. will you stay in the business for another 20 years? Well, the day I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving. No, I'm not leaving. You're dying with your boots on. <laughs> with my bra. Yes. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Probably a padded one, but yes. <laughs> thank you so much for your inspiring interview today, Janine. Thank you. And thanks really for having me. A lot. So if thanks anybody so wants to come and enjoy your experience or learn from you or order from you or connect with you, how do we find you? So we are, on, we are in the Branson Shopping Center upper level, which is Corner Valley, Claire and William Nickel. We also on Facebook, Lounge Rainley. Okay. Instagram, Lounge and Leisure. And yeah, you'll find us all over the place. Okay, I'll definitely put those links into the content when I, when I share the video. Thank you. The and thank you for your work. I oh, know it's such a pleasure. I'm getting to meet such interesting people with these interviews. So thank you so much for your time. I appreciate thank it you. very much. Thank you so much. Thanks.